This introduction is about this plugin developed by Tencent, BrushNet, also a repair image editing model. It's connected to BrushNet in Paint. These two models are also. One is, I will share this in my notes. Everyone can download the models he needs. Their name is those. This is a plugin sign for semantic segmentation. In this way, the cake in the image can be accurately choose him. Then he can automatically mask. Then cut out the picture. Finally pass this. Change its prompt to the past. For example, the modified burger here. Hamburger. In this way, you can change from cake to burger in one go. So this plugin is very useful. You may have seen his AI applications online. What he uses in his AI application is manual. Of course, you can also open OpenSAM here. This semantic segmentation. Click to open. You can choose this picture. For example, if you, you will choose here. this on his own, you can click more. He will select this area. But if you choose this Y, it's better to use prompt words. I'm just teaching you, there is someone who has this tool. It's the same as choosing from the ones on the internet. He supports this. For example, I would like to order this Then tool. click auto select. But the choice is not good, so don't use this. You can directly use the semantic segment to select the elements of the screen or manually. Mainly introduce this function. Modify it directly to the prompt word. Very perfect. It may not be changed to hamburger. You here. can change it too. Drumstick. Roast chicken. I wonder if he has such a thing as roast chicken. Not bad. This book also has this rosemary. What is it called? A good match. If you don't like it, you can generate more. Change this to automatic. Random. You can make another one. Not bad. But what is this thing behind? Strange. I don't know why the roast chicken needs this rack. Okay, I'll show you this function here. Workflow is also. I will share it in my notebook. There are also installation and download of these models, etc. I will also share it on this to NQL. Direct mirroring uses this feature. This makes it easy to modify images. And there is no limit. Use whatever you want. Okay, that's it for this issue.